Again, the turkey giveaway starts at 1 p.m. today at the Jacobs Center. People with vouchers will be served first. Anyone without a voucher should wait until after 2 p.m. While many of us are planning our holiday meals, there are many families in need this holiday season. Miles McPherson of the Rock Church joins us now to share about food distributions that the Rock Church is doing and also we're gearing up for Toys for Joy. Good morning, Pastor Miles. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice, nice to be talking to you. Yeah, nice to be talking to you as well. So first, um, Miles, I want to get to the distributions. You guys have been doing a number of distributions, and they're going to be continuing here into December. So tell me a little bit about those. Yeah, so three of our campuses, one in San Marcos, City Heights, and East County, are giving food away the first and second Thursday and the third Tuesday. Uh, of each month, and you can go to our website, sdrock.com. It is first come, first serve. You don't have to be part of the church. We usually give away between two and 300. Uh, we usually feed about two or 300 families. And so the first two or 300 cars that show up, we just, no questions asked, uh, food and diapers. We're partnering with the food bank, who is a great partner. And they've been, you know, they're, they're a great provider of food for everybody in San Diego, but uh, we're great partners with us as well. And uh, we, it's just great to see, to be able to help people, especially now when pe so many people, more people are food insecure. Yeah, and I would imagine overdoing these giveaways over the last few weeks here that you have seen that the need is out there. Need is out there. It's really unfortunate, but we're fortunate enough to have great partners to, and, and team members who are out there volunteering their time. Uh, to serve the people of San Diego. And so it's the first Thursday. If you, if you go to the website, but it's San Marcos, uh, City Heights, and East County. Okay. All right. And talk to me, because you guys are gearing up Toys for Joy. It's not canceled. It's still going on. How can people get involved with Toys for Joy, and how are you guys adjusting this year? Yeah, no matter what happens, we we, we got to figure out how to keep serving. So um, we, we, we've had it's our 24th year. We're usually in four locations, which we will again be this year, but it'll be a drive up. And we're working directly with schools to identify uh, their most needy families and also other uh, community organizations that are serving people in, that are in great need of San Diego. And we will give away 30 pound uh, box of food, toys, the gospel, and prayer for people. They're going to drive up, we'll serve them. And then they'll be on their way. We won't have it as usual where, you know, we're having people in a gymnasium picking out toys. But we're still, uh, the, the event still goes on. Um, we're, we're excited to serve uh, during Christmas. We, we, Christmas can never, we can't cancel Christmas. That's one thing we can't do. So we're going to make sure a bunch of people get Christmas this year. Okay. And obviously people can go to your website for more information on Toys for Joy, how to get involved, how to help. Because I am, you know, I would imagine <laughs> right now, Pastor Miles, your message to people who are struggling, who are mentally struggling, who are in need right now, what do you tell them right now? Well, you know, I was reading out of the Bible the other day, I think um, where in Isaiah it says, though the mountains be removed, uh, my promise for peace to you, my covenant of peace will not be removed. And no matter what happens in our life, God is always there. And, you know, often we get misled to think, well, if I believe in God, hard times won't come. You know, it's really, if you believe in God, he'll get you through your hard times. We live in a, in a fallen world, and there's so much confusion and upheaval right now, but God is still there for us, and I would encourage people to seek the Lord. We have our church services every Sunday, um, uh, sdrock.com slash live. We also have services outside at our campuses that you can attend. I would encourage people to come out um, and receive the gospel, and receive, let us pray for you and encourage you. All right. Well, Pastor Miles McPherson, great to join you. A lot going on with the Rock Church right now. We'll talk again soon. God bless you.